Hello, Ron Clark here. Another session with the Magic Box. Now, I had a discussion with the Magic Box and told them to behave this time, so it's going to be just one question, okay? Now, let's see if he behaves. Wow. So, the question is, What are your thoughts on prayer? Is it useful as a supplementary activity while working through initiation hermetics? Asking for wisdom, compassion, magical advancement, for example? Or as a means of helping others? Or will this mostly be a waste of time since there is nothing like a god in your view? Okay, so, prayer. Now, prayer can be many things. Standard prayer is just supplication, uh, asking for, um, wishing, uh, basically, basically fantasizing. Um, and the effects of prayer, this kind of prayer, are not magical. They're psychological at best. They have to do with making the prayer uh, feel good in some way feel better about something, more secure. So it's a psychological effect upon the prayer and basically has no power beyond that. It is not magical. Magic requires intention, will, creativity, participation. Something is happening in a magical act. And that kind of passive prayer is supplication is not magical in the, that sense. But there are two, what I classify two types of prayer that are magical. The first is the devotional prayer in which one raises one's uh, feelings of worshipfulness or devotion. Um, and you, you create a very strong astral charge. Okay, which is then useful. And much can be accomplished with that r rising of the emotional devotion. An example of that, well, when I was working with a coven many moons ago, um, I went to the coven specifically because I felt the need to learn about worship. And about the only thing I felt worthy of worship was a goddess. Uh, for me, the goddess is the collective awareness of the earth, the mother goddess, earth goddess, okay? So, in Coven, it was about worship of the goddess and devotion and passion. The worship for us was very passionate we were known as the singing witches. And for me, my favorite prayer was a very simple little song. And through this little song, I was able to generate huge amounts of astral energy uh, based on devotion. Um, and the song went, Listen, listen, listen to my heart song. Listen, listen, listen to my heart song. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. Listen, listen, listen to my heart song. Listen, listen, listen to my heart song. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. I will never forget you. I will never forsake you. And through the singing of this song, which is a prayer, I was able to generate huge quantities of astral energy which would then be used in healing rituals or other like rituals, okay? So that is one type of magical prayer, which is devotional. The other type of magical, magical prayer 
is action related. So it's more a conversation with whatever one is worshiping um, that entails action along with the conversation. Uh, a real good example comes from Fool's Crow, who was a Lakota holy man, which is sort of a step above medicine man, uh, born in 1890, died in 1889, 1989. And he's describing here a process that he goes through in preparation for doing any healing or other magical work for other people or for himself. Okay, his description. First I thought about all of the stumbling blocks about me that can get in Wakantanka and the Helper's Way when I want them to work in and through me. Then I ask them to remove these things so that I am a clean bone. They did this, and as I felt the obstacles coming out, I grabbed them and threw them away. When all of this was done, I felt fresh and clean. I saw myself as a hollow bone that is all shiny on the inside and empty. I looked, inside my, I looked around inside myself to see if any obstacles or junk were left, and then there were none. I knew then that I was ready to serve Wakantanka well, and I held up my hands to offer my thanksgiving and to tell him how happy I was. Immediately I could feel the, po feel the power begin to come into me, and I reached up to help it. It was wonderful, and my energy grew until I was completely filled with power. Before long, I thought I would explode. Then I saw all of the races around me, and I gave the power away to them. All of them were very grateful, and it made me feel good to share in this giving. As I emptied myself out, I could feel more power coming to me, and it was wonderful. So... It's an example of this conversational relationship with uh, a worshipped deity form, right? And it's active. It's not just asking, give me, give me, give me. It's doing. It's help me cleanse. And so I help myself cleanse along with the power of Wakantanka. And then I ask for power, which comes automatically because I have prepared myself in this way, and that power fills me, and I give that power away, okay? So with this kind of prayer, there's not just taking, there's also giving. We take and we give. We give and we take all at the same time. That is magical prayer. Another example of magical prayer is TMO, the magic of yod heh vav -He It is rooted in a prayer, a canticle, which is a prayer. So, does ani yod heh vav -He adonai Ribono Shalom Amen. Now, while I am reciting that canticle, which has is full of meaning to me because I understand the words, while I am reciting and uttering that canticle, I am also doing things. I am moving consciousness around from different different levels and stages of awareness and moving energy around within myself. The result is an eruption of energy of the Adonai light. And then I use that Adonai light to create magical effects. So it is a prayer, but it is an active prayer that I'm doing something not just saying, gimme, 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 okay? That 
that is the problem I have with prayer in general. Because prayer in general is just about gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Bless me, bless me. Do this for so and so. Do this for me. That to me is not magical prayer. So, prayer does have a place or can have a place in magical practice. But it's not a passive thing. It is an active thing when used in magical practice. Okay, so that's it from me on prayer. And next week we come back with another offering from the magic box. And again, if you have any questions for the magic box, just post them in the comments down below and I'll add them to the box. Still pretty full in here, so we've got a ways to go in the box. So, till next time, bye-bye.